day viewers welcome to our youtube channel the headline asari dokubo in shock as tinobu makes explosive order against him the news in detail in a surprising turn of events president bola hamed tinobu has issued a remarkable directive that has stunned the ex niger delta militant leaders notably al-haji mujahideen asari dokubo this explosive move comes amidst mounting speculation of foreign involvement in Nigeria's internal affairs. It has been learned that recent requests for court sea visits by prominent militant leaders and ethnic militias from the oil-rich region to the presidential villa in Abuja have been met with disapproval from the presidency. This abrupt decision is reportedly a direct consequence of Asari Dokubo's visit to Tinobu on June 12th of this year. Asari Dokubo, a staunch advocate of Tinubu and a first during the 2023 presidential election, paid a visit that appeared to have triggered these unprecedented measures. Sources suggest that Tinubu's order was a response to the outspoken actions and statements made by Asari Dokubo following their meeting. Asari Dokubo's comments outside the villa, in which he accused the armed forces of economic sabotage and crude oil theft, in the Niger Delta, apparently caught the Nubu of guard. The fact that these statements were made immediately after leaving Tinubu's office added to the shock factor. Insiders from the presidency indicate that Sari Dokubo's public tirades against the military seemed to align with Tinubu's views, leading to perceptions of shared ideologies. The presidency has been put on edge by Sari Dokubo's controversial behavior which has included appearing in videos with gun-wielding youths and making threats against key figures, including the governor of River State, Fubara Siminalai. This, con this continued association between Asari Dokubo and the president has raised, raised concerns that it portrays the president's endorsement of Asari Dokubo's actions, leading to a distorted public perception. In a bold move to distance himself from the controversy, President Tinubu has reportedly decided to no longer host ex-militant commanders and militias in the presidential villa. It is rumored that the president has chosen to restrict his interactions with figures linked to the Niger Delta's ethnic crisis and oil industry unrest. One individual who sought an audience with the president lamented that his application was declined with presidency officials citing their decision was influenced by Asari Dokubo's previous encounter. This apparent change in the president's stance has left many former militants, militant leaders grappling with their unexpected loss of access to the presidential villa. While the special advisor on media and publicity to the government, Ajuri Ngilali, has claimed ignorance of the situation, this explosive directive has undoubtedly sent shockwaves through Nigeria's political landscape, leaving many to wonder about the intricate dynamics at play behind this, the scene. Okay, so, um, aside the Kuba at this point now, he is shocked that Tinubu has decided to restrain himself from him. He's not meant to be surprised, though. Because there's this hatchet added that says, um, show me your friend and I'll tell you who you are. So since Asari Dokubo has decided to threaten Nigeria and has decided to put marks to what does not concern him literally, Tinubu has decided to, Tinubu just decided to, um, defend himself totally because it wouldn't be a part of what does not support or what does not benefit victory as a whole. In a video that went viral on Instagram and um, on Twitter, Asari Dokubo was saying, saying Tinubu should give him like the order to go to Niger, Niger Republic and do this, do that. Oh well, there's like um an audio which I would play shortly. I 
and my people to go to the Nigerian Republic. We'll go. We'll defeat them and we'll come back victorious. It's not a post. If the government commissioned us to go, if the Republic like let them go and bring anybody, they are human beings or weak men or lot. said he's not boasting that he will go and he's going to finish the job he's going to you know we are still trying to 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 pray for peace and who and some people are boasting that if the president gives them the go ahead they will take the law into their hands and go there to defeat them and come back according to him he said they will restore democratic um power back to order you see it is it is it's sickening like just when you think you've had it all i tell you the football comes up with this again like why would you decide to put the law in your hands ah. oh well it's a good thing that president Tinubu decided to um, just remove himself from all this aside the Kubo's issue and he just told, um, he, he placed an ode. You know when you create this, um, you draw a line so this person doesn't exceed or would I say this person doesn't, is not involved in your life. So it's, it's, it's really a good thing at this point. So let's just see if Asari Dokuba's time goes on, gives himself that brain that is meant to have, the brain he should have, and behave normal. Because at this point, it's, it's, it saddens my heart. Let me use that word. Because it's, it's really not normal. It's, it's weird. So please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, share your thoughts in our comment section as usual, and click on the bell notification so you will get latest updates.